I can do, sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging you. I'm literally begging Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you. Please. 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 That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse. I don't know you. Spit me on my face right now. She spit in my face. Today's video takes us to Galveston, Texas where we find a pair of frauditors up to no good. Apparently, one of the trolls called in and said he was driving while intoxicated. Oh, dearie me! And the poor lad was subsequently arrested. Can you believe that? Sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy! You're watching the footage of Lafayette County audits. Driving into Galveston city limits. First time in Texas. This man's been driving all day. He left Mississippi, drove through Louisiana, and drove halfway through Texas to meet Good Citizen News and News Now Ninja. And as soon as he crossed the Galveston city line, he got pulled over and got arrested for a felony third offense DUI with no evidence of a DUI or probable cause. But we're going to get into that. Well, that sounds like a train wreck right from the start because we got Harvey Freebird, a.k.a. Harvey Jailbird, narrating what's going on. You can see he's in the back of the cruiser here. And then we got Good Citizen News. He's no choir boy. Austin. Yeah, Austin. You should go to Austin, Texas, man. And then we have News Now Ninja. Uh, he's a bloody moron if I've ever seen one. So let's continue on with the story. Oh, well, we got, we're got already getting pulled over. Already getting pulled over. Yes, sir. Officer Murph, TPD, you got your driver's license, man? Uh, yeah, can I ask what you pulled me over for? Yeah, sure. Several things. Fail to maintain a single lane, turn signal. I was, I was, I, I'm new. Uh, this is the first time being over here, so I was trying to find it. Trying to find my friends. All right, you got your driver's license? Um, I actually don't, but I can, uh, I can give you my number. So, Frontier, let me see if I get this straight. You drove all the way from Mississippi over into Texas with no driver's license. Did you know it's a law that you have to carry a driver's license when you operate a motor vehicle, boy? Okay. Do you have any form of ID on you? Uh, I don't. Okay. No. Never roll your window down any more than just a little crack for two reasons. You don't want them reaching in and grabbing you, and you don't want them lying like these cops are going to lie and say that they smelled your breath and smelled alcohol on your breath, which is exactly what's going to happen. You can say everything you need to say through that little crack and you can present your ID and your driver's license and your insurance paperwork up against the glass. The law says you have to present it, not hand it to them. Now that sounds like something our constitutional law scholar Chili De Castro would say. Yeah, he must have been watching Chili's videos. Hmm, yeah, because Chili's not going to present anything except his trifold, which is made of indestructible paper. Until you set it on fire, that is. What's your number? It is, uh, 801. Wait, so so before I give you this, before I give you this, you said that I was failing, failing to maintain a lane. I've actually got the the uh, cam right here that shows that, that I was driving straight. I was literally... That's fine. I've got my camera too. Okay. okay. Um, Are you going to give me your number? What state is that out of? Mississippi. Mississippi? What's your last name? Reardon. It's what? Reardon. Reardon, can you spell that for me, please? R E A R D O N. R E A D. R E A R D O N. 
first name, sir? Matthew. Birthday? All right, Mr. Matthew. Uh, anything in the view, kind of be aware of guns, no. guys, or anything like that? Nothing at all. Okay. Hang tight. This is what happens when you mess around with the police, boy. They know who you are, and they know your friends, more importantly. And your friends really aren't that good of friends. Nah, because friends don't let friends drive drunk. How are you doing, mate? Oh, just touring Galveston. First time being in Texas. First time being in Texas? Yeah, hadn't been through Texas. Uh, I do a lot of traveling around the country. But this is the first time actually coming through Texas. Wanted to see Galveston. You ordered a man? Uh, I don't answer questions. Okay. A few moments later. What's up, guys? Why you stop him, Brad? He said, uh, I don't know, he said basically failure to maintain the lane. But I mean, I've got dash cam right here. I was trying to look out to see where the gas station was. And hey, man, you said it's your first time here? Yeah. Hey, what's your name? Uh, it's Matthew. I mean, y'all look up. Okay, do you have his license on you? No. It's Matthew. Matthew what? Reardon. Matthew what? Reardon. Reardon. I know this went by rather quickly on the screen, but it's okay. I took a screenshot so you could look. Now, who drives around in their car dressed like this? Doesn't that look rather suspicious to you? I tell you what, there's a lot of municipalities that have a law against covering your face. The only reason that it was allowed during the pandemic is because it was an emergency. But now that emergency has been lifted, so I don't know why this yahoo's driving around like this. You could get arrested just for that. Where are you headed to, man? Right here. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Meet up some friends. Okay. They're literally the ones taping you right now. Okay. I'm live on YouTube. All right, Mr. Matthew, I'm going to ask you a question. I need you to be honest with me, okay? Yeah. All right, have you been drinking all night, man? Not a single thing. Okay, then why come I smell call coming from the car? Uh, I hadn't had a drink, uh, dropped a drink for three years. Nothing for three, three years? Three years. Three years, okay? No alcohol. No alcohol. None. Okay. Can you step out of the vehicle, Mr. Matthew? Sure. I just pulled the mask down in blue. You don't have a single... Matthew, walk back here with me, man? Yeah. Okay, you're telling me, Mr. Matthew, you haven't had a drink in three years? Three years. Okay. All my kids. Huh? All my kids. All three years. So if you have kids, why aren't you at home taking care of them? Or did your wife divorce you and you lost custody of the kids? Because I could see that happening. Yeah, Frodita, you're a pitiful man just like all the rest of the Froditers. All right, Mr. Matthew, you mind doing some tests? Make sure you're okay to drive, man. I mean, there's. Do you smell alcohol in my breath? I, I hadn't had a single thing to drink. Okay. That's not answering my question. I'm not taking. Your field sobriety tests are designed to fail. You know it, and I know They're it. Not designed to fail. The first one's scientific. How about this? Let me blow. Huh? I'll blow. You want to blow? I'll blow. Okay, you understand. If yes, I understand. I haven't had a let, drop to drink. Let me explain something to you. I haven't had a drop to drink. Let me explain something to you, okay? I have not had a drop to drink. Okay, I am understand that. Okay. I understand you're saying that, okay? What I'm telling you is you understand that if you blow, I have to place you under arrest. Yes. Well, folks, you know I'm not on the frauditor's side here, but I never heard of anything like that. If you blow into the breathalyzer, they have to place you under arrest. It would seem to me that if you blow triple zeros, that would absolve you of any DUI. I don't quite understand that, but let's carry on. 100%. Okay. Yeah. Go get it. I, that's not how it works. We don't, okay. we don't go get it. We go to the machine. Okay. No, sir. No, that's sir. A, that's, how, that's where the machine's at. No, no. Call supervisor. The supervisor's right okay. there. Uh, we're not doing this. No, no. I'm taking it right here. No, I won't even take it. Mr. Matthew. Yeah, I refuse Are it. Are you willing? You're refusing? Ask for your lawyer. You're refusing? I want a lawyer. Yeah, I don't need to give you a lawyer. Are you refusing to fill sobriety test? I said I will blow. Okay. We have to go to Bring the it here. Y'all have portable tests. Y'all have portable tests. No, we don't. No, we don't. We don't. We don't have them. I don't know what to tell you. We the don't. The only one we have is at the police station. That's the only one we have. You got a supervisor? I am a supervisor. Right here. What's your name and badge number? Sergeant Jack Doherty, 344. 344. 
they always want that supervisor and then when somebody says I am the supervisor then they usually ask for a lieutenant or a captain or the police chief I'm surprised this year who didn't do that Harvey Freebird you should be helping your buddy coach him a little bit and you are I've already told you I know officer. I know what is it again officer Osteen 692 Osteen you are Murph 617 okay okay I'm gonna ask you one more time Mr. Matthew Will you consent to fill sobriety test? Um, no, not. I said I'll blow. Otherwise, that's take that's me into custody. Okay. Hey, can you get? Hey, can you get my uh, gimbal? Oh. Now this Yahoo is under arrest, and what's he worried about? His gimbal. What? Who cares about your gimbal and your cell phone, man? You're under arrest. Don't you think you should be worried about how you're going to get out? Oh, these guys crack me up, man. They're just too much, aren't they? Eventually. I, I'm just, I don't see the probable cause. Reckless driving? Well, that's what I asked you. Why didn't you say that to begin with? No, you said he's under arrest for suspicion of DUI. That's not a charge, though. Yeah, but that's not what you said. Suspicion of DUI isn't a crime. Well, there you have it, folks. Now, Harvey Jailbird said his buddy wasn't charged with reckless driving, so I don't know if he was charged with DUI or not. That's what the uh, title of the video says, Suspicion of DUI, but it doesn't really matter to me because he was arrested and his car was taken away. Uh, and then I found a video where they misplaced his car keys when he went to pick up his car, so he's being charged $22 a day for storage fees. I'll bring that video to you tomorrow. But at any rate, if you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on a channel like this group of yahoos, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by, fellas. Why don't you see if you fellas can get a real job? Mm-hmm. Cheers to that. I've actually studied English, and uh, I have a, over a 400 level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? Really, no reason I'm really, to have... I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm going to arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, she's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, you to record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the law. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car, I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me, you are a public servant. You are a public servant, you work for me.